Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this video I'm gonna show you guys a uh, miss and heat in this uh, July favors and I will include some of the product I don't like and I have few product I actually really really don't like and I want to mention it in the end of this video and I'm gonna just start with some product I absolutely love I would say the first product is this mist. I don't know about you guys, but I personally really love to mist my skin every day. Like, it doesn't matter what season. And this one is a Japanese brand called Mila, Milalu. Milalu. And I got this when I was in Hong Kong. It's a vitamin white mist. So basically, it's just a refreshing mist. Have some vitamin C in it. And it smells so good. I'm gonna show you guys how fine is this mist. Oh my god, this smell extremely good. And I love how fine is this mist. And I just really love this mist. I always use this. And doesn't matter if it's like before my makeup or after my makeup or during the day. I just really love this mist. And I just got I got this when I was in Hong Kong. I don't know where they would sell this in the United States, but I will link down below all the information. Hopefully you guys can find it. I was like doing some research about what foundation actually good for combination dry skin. And I found this um, a lot of people love. And also it's highly recommend for many professional makeup artists and this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup Foundation with titanium dioxide SPF 50, uh, SPF 17 so random and my shade is nude beige W3 I love this foundation just like what it say super blendable and I personally like it is because it's a lightweight, it's moisturized, but at the same time give me coverage. I truly think this is one of the best foundation I have tried in the drugstore. And it doesn't come with the palm and I'm just like so frustrated because every time I pour this out on my hand, every single time I pour too much on my hand and I don't like that and I waste off lots of them because of this. So please L'Oreal the palm with this foundation because this is such a gorgeous foundation if you have combination dry skin i think this is like the best you should pick up in the drugstore and, and this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation and i have the shade is soft beige and both of them uh by the way if you guys don't know i have warm tone skin and every time i look for foundation i would like to see do they label warm tone and this one actually does and i'm really happy they do that because it will be easier for people to shop their foundation and it is the best match to my skin i would say i used this one on my skin today it looks amazing. I think you can build up to super full coverage. I am surprised. But this one again, don't come with a palm. I don't get it. Seriously, I will willing to pay for a few more dollars. But please, come with a freaking palm. This is not a palm. I don't even get it why they do this kind of design. It's and sometimes I mix this two together. It's the perfect like it's the perfect match to my skin i'm so impressed i got the shade i actually matched to my skin tone because many times i try to find foundation in the drugstore it's always either too dark or too light but this two shade is actually match my skin perfectly and especially uh the l'oreal one they have like huge collection i don't know how many uh, the wet and wild have but this two have huge collection it's like they have like really fair to really dark i'm so glad like finally like in a drugstore they have so many different shades foundation i have a really good primer i want to show you guys if you have dry skin if you have normal skin or combination skin like me i think you will love this numerizing primer from 100 percent pure i got this online and i really really hope one day 100% pure we just have a retail store or maybe have it in Ulta or Sephora because their stuff is so amazing guys and I love it it comes with the palm it's a glass container I'm gonna show you guys it's so easy to blend 
and it's not too dewy or too greasy. I think it's the perfect amount of uh, moisture for my skin and I hate something is like too much and I normally just use two palm uh, from the primer and I can complete my whole face. I normally put it on my cheek and my forehead. That's where I get mostly dry uh, during the day and I just like it really lightweight, really fast to absorb but still give me enough hydration to my skin but absolutely not one of those you will find it super normalizing. I will not I would say this is not at all it's not normalizing at all like you look at it it's you barely see any sheen on it but it's just an a really nice moisture, I would say. The other product I really want to say impress, impress. Use this word to say impress, and this is the NYX Epic Epic Link Liner. And I have the shade. No, I have the color is black. I don't know. Do they have any other color? But I absolutely love this product. Is because first of all, felt tip applicator i love felt tip and it is so easy to create the line i personally always wear my wing eyeliner i use it today so you can see it, it create really precise line and i like it it's also waterproof do not smudge all my eyes because many liquid eyeliner in the drugstore especially in the drugstore smudge all my eyes and this one is under ten dollar guys what you guys have to think about. This is even better than the Steeler or the Kat Von D. I have used the Steeler one. I just think the, the felt tip is too stiff. I don't like stiff um, felt tip because it is so hard to create the smooth like line I wanted to. And this one is super flexible, but it's not like too flexible. It will be uh, annoy you but this is like flexible enough for you to create a wing easily and I think this is amazing definitely this one is better than the Kat Von D or the Steeler one it's not only the price it's also the applicator and then it's so black and it lasts on my eyes this is really important and this is under $10 guys you guys have to check this out if you love eyeliner just like me wow i was like i saw this in the ColourPop instagram i'm like should i get this should i not but it's so affordable i'm like why not i'm just gonna get it and i got this palette and this palette is super adorable look at the package and it's so skinny and small and easy to travel with i like how small it is i thought it would be super big because sometimes you look at the photos you would be like wow is this that a huge palette or small i'm so glad it's this size it's like small and not too big i'm one of those girls don't use a lot of crazy eyeshadow on my eyes. I love to wear a lot of crazy lipstick but not on my eyes. Does that make sense? And I really like this um, eyeshadow. It is a She Shadow Palette. I have to be honest, I don't know who is this lady because I just, I just have no idea who she is. But I don't care about who she is because I really like the color she created and you can use it every single day and I like it have four matte shade and four metallic color and then four um, just kind of like a sheen color but not like too glitter I really like how she create this uh, eyeshadow palette I really think it's one of the kind and for those people who doesn't like pop eyeshadow color like me you're a neutral girl stay with this one and every single shade i swatch it i'm just so impressed and i just like it they get they include matte color in here because i personally really like matte color so i'm so happy they have four different matte shades in here and i just really like the small size of it not too big not too small not too crazy and the color is like my favorite i just really like it i have to mention and this is called surprise mile air finish sunscreen with spf 50. i love this sunscreen why it is super liquidy and so easy to blend and if you have oily skin if you have 
rush time and you don't like to blend out stuff this is perfect because it's liquid and it's so easy to blend look at that and no white cast i love this sunscreen i just really adore to this sunscreen but only downsides about this is they have alcohol inside just in case if you guys have no idea some alcohol will actually irritate in some sensitive skin but it does not irritate in me i don't have some i have combination dry skin but it's still working really good to my skin i don't know how it will react to sensitive skin people but it is a mineral based sunscreen so i don't know about is this okay for sensitive skin people but i would recommend to try it see how you like it if you don't like it you can always use it on your body don't use it on your face i just really like it it's really affordable it's like i got it in amazon prime it's like 11 dollars super affordable it is a sunscreen. It is a Neutrogena brand new sunscreen. It's just pure sink sunscreen. This sunscreen is horrible. First of all, super greasy, not dry touch. They say dry touch sunscreen. It's not dry touch and give me crazy horrible white cast on my face. I hate that. I don't I don't think anyone will like to look like a ghost face. This one is terrible. Don't pick this up and this is expensive as well compared to this. This is like $13.99. I got it in Target. It's terrible guys. Terrible. I mean I would still use it but not on my face. I would definitely just use it on my body. Just don't pick this up. Just don't you will regret this is like a horrible sunscreen i'm so disappointed because i like the original sunscreen they have but it's chemical sunscreen i would say so i was so happy it's actually physical sunscreen but it doesn't work for my makeup for my face the other product i don't like is the brand new mascara from l'oreal i don't know why everybody like it it just doesn't really do anything for my lash I love the packaging look at this beautiful gorgeous pinky rose package but I hate it I don't like it if you have Asian eyelash just go for the Maybelline one they both brand new but I just hate this mascara it doesn't do anything for my lashes it just not cute because i thought I, I would like it but i actually don't like it i hate it and this is the brand called the honest company and this brand is actually the co-founder is jessica alba many reason i don't think i purchased it because of her i like her but I like the concept of the brand. It's like use the product. It's like actually good for the skin, not harmful to the skin. So that's why I purchased it and see how I like it. And this is the three in one facial wipes. The package is super cute. It's one of my favorite color. But this thing is gentle cleanse, moisturize, and remove makeup. I hate this wipe. I Every time I wipe it, first of all, I don't have oily skin. I have combination dry skin. Every time I use this wipe, my boyfriend will ask, Oh my god, your skin looks so oily. What's going on? So shiny. And this stuff is too moisturized in the level. I'm like, seriously? And then every time I use this to wipe my face, after that I feel super greasy. I have to use water to rinse my face with this stuff. Yeah, that's it for this video. I know it's super long. I'm so appreciated every single of you watching this because every time I do a video, I take forever. And so yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Then you will not miss any future video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It means a lot to me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!